in our communities. How receptive is this Central? Oh, very, yes. It couldn't have been a better meeting. The graciousness, the intelligence, the reception we got was fantastic. What are some of the specific policies? So for those of you who don't know, on the left, uh, John Brown, Pete, Jim yeah, Brown, well, think, legendary think, NFL running back. If you talk about middle, what we're Ray trying Lewis, to really do uh, from the urban developments linebacker. and job creations are everything. But I think, you know, we're talking about really what entrepreneurship really looks like from, from the individual themselves. And I think what America, America I Can program has done for so many years is put us at that place and now we have 30, 40,000 former game members and people who's changed their lives. But what we, what we believe with the Trump administration is if we can combine the, these two powers of coming together, forget black or white. Black or white is irrelevant. The bottom line is job creation, economic development in these urban neighborhoods to change the whole scheme of what of what our kids see for, for our next future. And we will. Well, I, that it was appropriate? Yeah, well, I, I think what, what I do feel is that he's wide open to really helping us change what hasn't been changed. You know, you talk about you go all the way back to $22 trillion since the Johnson, you, since President Johnson was around, and you, you think about what that is, of what talking about, like, really uh, solving poverty, $22 trillion that we haven't addressed yet, right? So for us as a black community, for Trump to even step up there, for Mr. President to step up there and say, I'm going to do that, that means everything. And I think that's why me and Mr. Brown is here today. Did you all vote for him, for President? No, I did not. The election I mean, is over. Right? We don't need to talk about that. We need to talk about going forward. We're not here, here to talk here, about the past. Yeah, tell you, We're here to talk about respect. going forward. I've been listened to, and we definitely have a partnership. Yep. And it's an extension of the outreach program that we put in place that you follow so very closely. Mr. Trump made a commitment to improving the conditions of the lives of African Americans in this country. And this is going to continue the work that we started during this campaign with the National Diversity Coalition and now with the mayor I can, Jim Brown, Ray Lewis. And it's a great combination. And the president-elect was very enthusiastic about it and committed yeah. to doing it. I think he was excited. He's made a commitment. He's given a verbal commitment. This was the first of many meetings. He's given us a verbal commitment, and then we're going to go forward, we're going to strategize, and then the next step will be implementation. We're not going to drag our feet talking about this for the next three years. This is something that we're... The vehicle is already in place. The model already works. We're just going to energize and empower this model, put the government behind it, put the Trump administration behind it, put the African American community behind it, put the American community behind it, and we're going to get busy. Does it concern you at all that in the top four, the big four cabinet posts, Mr. Trump hasn't appointed a woman or a minority? No, it doesn't concern me. We're talking about this today. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this. This is what we're talking about. Our focus is right here on this American program and implementing this program. Any questions for Ray or for Jim Brown? What, how do you help hope to use your platform, you know, as famous athletes, as a commentator, to carry this message out there and also hold the administration to their word? I think one of the things that, it's no secret that, you know, if Mr. Brown picks, if Papa Brown picks up a phone call and calls anybody in the nation right now who's in the world of athletics entertainment, that phone call is easily picked up. And so for myself, the moment he picked it up for me years ago, um, is the reason why I stand beside him right now with every every vision he's put forth now I'm he's he's passed the torch to me to carry that now and that's what I want to make sure we carry but to reach anybody there's nobody we can't reach and I think that's that's why we're here because we can bring a lot of people to work together and we're not, not here because of politics we are here to help the president of the United States help the people that need help yeah yeah, I mean, I, I know, I know, I know Dr. Constant personally, and I think he's an excellent choice for this. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I just, well, I just, I just think that's one thing. Even Mr. President spoke about is that that's the things he can easily be educated on. Just like people go to classes and go to schools for everything, I'm pretty sure Dr. Constant can be caught up on housing very quickly. Yes. Yeah, brilliant guy. Any other questions? Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Okay, absolutely. thank you all. Have a good day. Which way do we go? This way. Oh, the other way? Okay. Yeah.